And, and one of those tactics that you alluded to is everybody agrees. Who could disagree? <laughs> and that's a very powerful advantage if you can have people already kind of bought into your value system. And then you say, well, any change to it, it's going to bring it to its knees. And it sounds to me like from what you're saying, that's kind of a, a common tactic for the bigs. In their, it's in a their common lobby. tactic for lobbyists uh, of all. I mean, you know, even the the small firms are looking at what works and parroting and mimicking mm -hmm. those tactics. But this is, I think, also part of kind of lobbying 101. You want to have the cordial relations in place so that when you need them on behalf of your client, you all you have to do is pick up the phone. But you also at the same time on a major campaign will not stop at lobbying. That's just the first step. But then you have these other assets at your disposal that you can use. And maybe it also means you're contacting, you're reaching out to athletes in Congress, people like uh, Senators Booker, Manchin, <clears throat> Tuberville, Coach Tuberville. You know, there, there might be all kinds of relationships existing, conversations that are taking place that we'll have no way of necessarily knowing about it.